Hey guys, Reaper here, and I wanted to make this video with some game recommendations that I would have for you guys. So stuff that you may have picked up, may not have picked up, and just give you guys something new to play if you're bored and looking to use your tax refund money or something like that. So first game up is Doom. This one is the one that came out in 2016, I believe, for PS4, Xbox One, PC, and now on the Switch. I just got it on the Switch, so that's kind of what re-engaged my interest in it one of the best first person shooters that has come out in the last 10 20 years in my opinion just because it made a formula that was getting a little bit stale with all the first person shooter games and brought a super frantic fast paced action gameplay that kind of needed a refresher and you literally can't stop moving in this game or you will die so it keeps you on your toes and the single player campaign pretty long considering it's a pretty simple storyline to follow but it's it's really interesting and fun to play and the online component is actually really cool too because it's not just something that was thrown in for the sake of having multiplayer it actually is its own fleshed out multiplayer and something that you'll probably actually enjoy because um, it is similar to the storyline campaign as opposed like in terms of its gameplay so definitely check out doom Next game, Watch Dogs 2. This one is probably controversial for some people because of the criticism that the first game received. I personally liked the first game because I did not... I played it probably two years after it came out, so I wasn't on the hype train like everyone else said who was disappointed about it being the next big thing. And I really liked the first one in my opinion. second one improved on in every single way. The storyline is like 80s hacker movie type... Uh, kind of spoofy in a way but it's really interesting caught my attention the whole way there's a lot of inside jokes and stuff like that kind of that add a little bit of comedic elements to the game and the main character wrench is super funny too and overall just a really interesting game the setting is a lot more interesting san francisco versus chicago not that either of those places are boring but san francisco it's just it's so vibrant it's really open and it just added a lot to the gameplay and the online component is actually kind of interesting too there's the hacking and TDM type stuff and hack this person before they hack you and overall it's just really enjoyable uh, next game Wolfenstein 2 awesome game improved on the first in every single way not that the first one was bad it just reinvigorated the formula and added a lot of tighter controls a little bit far-fetched story but keeping in mind what the first one was i think that it's serviceable and it's really actually quite fun to go through and has a lot of comedic elements elements as well and it actually has replay value which the first one didn't as much first one was just kind of you play through the game once if you want play through it a second time with the second storyline or timeline rather and the second one has uh, missions that you can do after the game after the main game is over essentially there's enigma cards that you could get in the first one that really didn't do much in the second one you can unlock extra missions with these cards so different assassination missions that you can go out and assassinate high-ranking Nazi leaders so it's really cool definitely pick this one up because it's probably pretty cheap just like Watch Dogs 2 and Doom right now um, yeah, so I would definitely recommend those. Assassin's Creed Origins, next one up. I really, I am biased to the Assassin's Creed series just because 2 is the first 360 game I played, and it's just a lot of fun. Brotherhood as well, super interesting. And Origins now is my third favorite, being second Assassin's Creed and Brotherhood before this one are super enjoyable. This one is in Egypt just a really vibrant open world and it kind of adds something different to the genre that well not something different per se but it's it's definitely enjoyable and not too stale like i've played a decent amount of it and i'm still not bored of it which is kind of telling i guess but Definitely would recommend Assassin's Creed Origins if you haven't played the game series yet, considering it's kind of the prequel to all of them. So, 
I definitely recommend this one. Uh, next up, Sleeping Dogs. This one came out on the 360 and PS3 era, but I think it's one that not a lot of people really got a chance to play. And essentially an undercover cop in, I think it's Tokyo, if I'm not mistaken, or somewhere in China, not 100% sure. But um, it's kind of like a open world third person shooter as, as you've seen before, but it adds a lot of interesting elements to it. The story is engrossing. The main character is interesting. Um, the combat mechanics are similar to Arkham, the Batman series, or the old Assassin's Creed games, but it's different in a way. And the gunplay is really interesting. The driving is interesting because you um, you can open your door and hit people with it. You can jump on top of cars. It's just very dynamic. And it's not something that a lot of games really have done. Um, Saints Row 3 is another one that comes to mind that was actually really good in terms of that, especially like with the car co um, combat in a way, I guess you could say. But yeah, Sleeping Dogs, they did remaster it on the Xbox One and PS4, so that's why I kind of brought it up. Uh, next up is Wolf Among Us. Now this one is a Telltale series, so it's kind of like a choose your own adventure in a way but it still follows an overarching storyline um super good i got it for free on xbox like years ago and i had finally played it i think it was last year i was blown away the the storytelling is just awesome it's essentially like a darker fairy tale retelling but it's not as cheesy as it sounds and it was just super well done so i would definitely recommend this one for sure considering the second one is actually gonna come out soon hopefully they have announced it but i don't think they have a date for it yet so hopefully that comes out soon would definitely recommend that one giving it a shot next up is mafia 3 again kind of controversial some people liked it some people hated it i was in the boat of liking it i am a little bit partial because that whole time period is really interesting to me and the subject matter was interesting but essentially you are left for dead by a compatriot, I guess you could call it, but he leaves you for dead with his dad who shoots you and you essentially try to take revenge and you make your own mafia. So you literally have your own gang that you're in control of and it's essentially kind of like a management mini game. So this person controls this area of the town, this person controls this area of the town. So it's similar to Saints Row, but a lot more hands-on in terms of controlling the districts and stuff like that and getting kickbacks from the people that live in the districts and stuff like that. So Mafia 3 is really interesting. The DLC actually was cool too because one of them deals with Donovan, your partner, and he was with you in Vietnam. So they, they kind of explore that storyline as well, which is really interesting. And the last game that I'm going to... Well, last two, because I'll kind of throw them both in at the same time. Rayman Origins, really solid platformer. Again, a little bit old, but I just started playing it on the Switch again. And it has really awesome um, designs for the levels. And the final level of each stage is a music level. So it plays off of things. Like the first one that you play through is Black Betty, the song. And it's just so interesting and fun to go through and essentially jump to the rhythm so it's, it's it's just really cool and i would definitely recommend it the last one is rise of the tomb raider again a little bit old but i don't think it's one that a lot of people played and the tomb raider reboots both of them have been extremely well received and actually a lot of fun i played i think sparsely one of the ones on the 360 and maybe ones on the older systems but Rise of the Tomb Raider was an improvement on the first one, and I would definitely recommend it if you like, kind of, if you, if you don't have a PS4 and you can't play Uncharted 4, which is an awesome game, I would definitely recommend Rise of the Tomb Raider. So hopefully this video was kind of interesting for you guys, kind of hear my opinions and some of my favorite games of the last few years. I didn't mention everything, like Super Mario Odyssey, stuff like that, but those are games that everyone knows are amazing, or Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I wanted to kind of touch on games that maybe not a lot of people got to play, 
maybe not a lot of people knew were good but are actually enjoyable so hopefully you guys give one of these games a chance if not go through them all because why not <laughs> if you have the money or the time so hopefully you guys enjoy this video like if you subscribe or like if you liked the video subscribe if you enjoyed the video and i will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching have a good day bye